Alright, let's take a look at how you create a link on a Google site. This is a link from your Google site to some other place on the internet. Well, you start by going to your Google site. So I'll start up my EdTech page, which is a real basic page. And now I need some place to place that link, so I'm going to create a page. And on that page, I'll start collecting various links to other sites and other resources that I think are important. In this case, a web page is going to do the job. I'm going to call that page my hyperlinks. And I'm going to put that page under home. Just a handy place to have it. We'll organize things along those lines soon enough. Then I am going to click create the page. Don't have a page until you create it. And then a page called my hyperlinks jumps up there on the screen. There's nothing on this page yet and I haven't saved this page so it's just a it's in editing right now and it hasn't actually been made part of the main site so I'll go over here to insert because I want to insert a link I'll click a link all the other things you see on the screen are things that could be inserted as well in this case we're going to click a hyperlink and I want to have um, hyperlinks associated with a web address so I have to click a web address and then and that area is where I need to put the link, in this case, to my blog, because I'd like to be able to get to my blog easily from my website and my website easily from my blog. So I have to go back to my blog and copy the web address from this address box at the top of the browser. And copying it is always a better move than it is uh, trying to type it. Uh, paste it in. Now I know I've got it right. And I think I'm going to want to have uh, my uh, web page, or my blog in this case, open in a new window. That way I can have my web page on the screen and I get my blog on the screen at the same time. We'll click OK. And now we see we've got a blog there, uh, a link to my blog. This is a chance to test it. If I test it, sure enough, it works. So it gets me there where I want to go. And that's pretty much it, except you don't save it at this point everything's lost so I'm gonna click Save and once I've saved it now that's become a permanent part of my home page okay that's all I want you to be able to do right now so let's get it done